Hello and welcome back to Spirit Mom. Today at Spirit School, we're going to discuss a practical way to find those dark emotions before they take you over. I'm calling it the waterfall. That moment at the cliff before it's too late, okay? So let's start at the beginning. We're getting upset. This is the river, the, the tiding, rapiding, river. Okay, we're getting more and more upset. It doesn't really matter what the trigger is. It could really be anything because we're upset. You usually don't care why when you're upset. The voices start to happen. The blaming starts to happen. The pinging of everything inside your head revving you up, revving you up. You're getting more and more upset. And we're past the point of remaining calm and deep breathing because we should always do that to stay calm. Now we're on the rapids going faster and faster and faster. And right before we go off the waterfall, which is really losing it, that's where we do something we regret. We say something we regret. We we break something. We scream. We we do the, the porcupining of energy that I call it where we've made a negative elemental being and we can feel our energy just gone. We're drained after. We've done something bad. We can feel it when it's all said and done. We feel gross. Why did we do that? If you're awake enough to at least know you've done something wrong, you'll feel the shame. Or if you're still egoically centered, you'll still be blaming people. But if you're awake enough to be able to find that moment of the waterfall, then you're probably just going to be feeling the guilt and the shame of I know better. Why did I lose it like that? Now I've like set myself back on my spiritual journey, which you kind of do a little when you let yourself go like that because you need to rebuild back up your energy. You need to get recentered. There's a whole building back up of the self after you let yourself go in in a spiral and it, and it can depending on how much you let that big your waterfall is is how much time it'll take you to get back on right like to get back on that horse to be a centered awakening being right okay so we're gonna backtrack here right because we don't want to go off the waterfall this is extremely practical advice because when I was learning and am learning, I find that they say, you know, let it run through you. Don't get upset. Catch yourself and all these things. It's, But then you're like, but how? Because I know what it's like when the negative voices start to take over. We're not talking schizophrenia here. We're talking the ego. We're talking like entities that will take advantage of the situation. We're talking just a buildup of different things, right? That will feel like the rapids of a river. And it's okay to go down the rapids of the river to feel the emotions and then land safely at the end of the river. What's not okay is to completely lose it, which is the waterfall. So I have discovered that there is a moment, a break, where there's a part of you that acknowledges, and this is where you can use to catch yourself. This is that moment you can catch yourself before you go off the waterfall, where you'll have a moment of sanity as that anger, upsetness is building where I shouldn't do this. There is a voice inside you and it'll be small at first, but it'll become more pronounced the more you listen to it. And it's it's not overwhelmingly centered. It's just a simple, I shouldn't do this. And then usually there's voices that are like, oh, it's so-and-so's fault, I can't stop now. Don't they understand? I'm just so mad. I'm just so sad, I'm just so upset. Whatever the emotion is, listen to that. I shouldn't do this voice. And it, it's not necessarily physically doing anything. You're not necessarily physically about to do anything. You're emotionally about to throw your energy down the waterfall because you are losing it. And once you've completely lost it, that's when you lose your energy, you lose your balance, you lose the path for a few steps. It's not a permanent thing. If you do go off the waterfall, it's not the end of the world, but 
when you learn to catch yourself before you go off the waterfall, and that doesn't mean you need to be, this is a key, it doesn't mean you need to snap out of it and be perfectly fine. Oh, I'm glad I'm good. Oh, anyways, guys, so, no, you can still be upset, but you're going to catch yourself before you really lose it. Sit down, take a minute, cry if you have to. Crying isn't bad. Crying is just a release, right? The problem is if that goes too far and next thing you know you're wailing and, ah, and that's when you're losing it. But a simple just, <laughs> that's so hard. <laughs> that's fine. Do that. That is okay. I hope I'm making sense here, people, because it's an intricate dance, I like to say, to take an emotional thing, an emotional feeling, and make it a mental snapshot you can actually hold on to. Something that I'm transmitting this to you and your mind can be like, okay, and maybe you don't understand it right now, but you can keep this river to waterfall in your head. So the next time you're upset, wait for it. Okay, you're upset. You know your patterns, you know? You know where things lead. So watch when you're about to go off the waterfall. Listen inside for that voice that's about to say, don't do this. Because it knows you're going too far. Because being upset isn't the problem, emotions aren't the problem. The problem is, is when we throw the self away, when we throw away our self, it's probably a moment where we're blocking the higher self and we're completely giving into the humanness of this body. Where we, as an awakening soul, put a lot of energy, a lot of meditation, a lot of mindfulness into being a centered energetic being. We're building our energy, like building up our actual energetic or a field is real. We are actually building building up like our magnetic field. And that can be gone. Like a, an un, a completely unawakened person doesn't have that big of an aura, if any aura at all. And they're completely physical. There's nothing, or like very little magic about them. But when you're awakening, when you're meditating, when you're being mindful, when you're deep breathing, you build up a very nice energetic field that you don't want to just go throwing away like it's nothing because you got upset. And it doesn't matter why you're upset, the energy is gonna be gone regardless. No excuse is gonna be like, yeah, but, yeah, but, there's no yeah, but. You don't wanna get rid of your energetic field because in the long run, it is going to help you. So we need to learn how to ride the river. There's old parables about riding the river and that's fine. You can ride the river and be upset, mindfully upset. You need to start becoming aware of that moment before you fall off the waterfall where this is that moment that you have, that last step, that if you don't pull back now, your energy field will be gone temporarily, but it's still not good. We still don't want that. You'll be shooting off all that beautifulness you have created about yourself. Just this natural, ha. Ah, feeling will be gone for a while until you can build it back up. You'll feel gross. And some people actually get physically sick when they've let it go because it keeps us safe. We want it around. This is our shielding protection. It's glorious. And when it's gone, we feel it. And then you'll just be sad. And that'll lead to depression, that dark night of the soulness where you're just like, you actually like just feel nauseous. You're so upset. We can avoid that feeling. We could avoid the waterfall. So still be upset, but don't get rid of your energy. So that way, when you're done being sad, you can cry, cry, that's fine. Or, or just sit there. Some people like writing it out, I'm so sad. Write a friend, write yourself. I text myself. I, 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 Cause I'm all about not spreading negativity to other people. I've had episodes about that because they're energetic little beacons will throw that out to the universe but if you have a trusted friend do it if not i text myself i trust me <laughs> and that helps it's a process or just you know you got your process do your process just don't fall off the waterfall and throw away all your energy on the way down you'll start to recognize the moment before 
that's where we're that's the point of this episode here we want to start recognizing the point before we fall off and start becoming stronger just in that specific moment to be like okay i can hold it together enough not to throw everything i've built away like energetically and just turn and i'll just be sad i'm gonna stop listening to the voices that my life is over everybody hates me it's all ruined no it's not you're going to be okay be sad it'll be fine no matter what the situation is you can find a way and you can find a solution better if you don't jump off the waterfall okay i hope that helps i hope that makes some kind of sense because energetically you'll feel it if you're looking for it okay so goodbye for now people spare love